same follow Paul and us in Christ saying these men are the servants of the most high God see the devil know who you are she's operating now in the spirit of divination nothing that she said was wrong that's why you even some of the churches you go to there are some people that are prophesy and they're accurate Matter of fact, just yesterday, somebody on our page, the morning prophetic encounter, somebody, uh, uh, I woke up at like three in the morning and saw that somebody had reported that some, that was a psychic on the page giving uh, psychic readings. And everybody in the comments was like, oh, that is so true. This is accurate. Yeah, it's a psychic. Yeah, there are men and men in the church and women in the church that are accurate as well. And you wonder where the accuracy come from, from the kingdom of darkness. It's not the spirit of prophecy. It's not the gift or the office of the prophet. It is the spirit of divination. Well, pastor, how do I know the difference? We taught on that. I can't get into it today. One of them is you'll know by the fruit that they bear. If they can't stop, if you mean to tell me you sleeping around with everybody in the church, but in the morning God's speaking to you, that's not God's spirit. So I'm a prophet. Okay, can you stop sleeping around? Can you keep your pants zipped up? If not, I, 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 that's the wrong answer. You are, you are psychic is what you are. You're operating in the spirit of divination, and it's a familiar spirit, and it looks real, it sounds real, but it's false, and it's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. She brought her master's game by Susan. Another way we know. There's two other ways, and I got to get into this. I got to close. You know when someone's operating in divination and not the spirit of prophecy, number one, is because everybody like them. The Bible says that, 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 that woe unto them who many men speak well of, so as their fathers did the false prophets. When everybody loves you and everybody wants you to come to their city and preach at their church, you got to be a false prophet. Because real prophets, people tend to resist. People don't want to be around them. People don't like them. People don't like them. Secondly, I'm going to tell you, this is a real big one. Hear me real good, y'all. Listen up. <clears throat> Every time they get done prophesying or before they prophesy, they ask for money. That ain't no real prophet. This is the same thing this woman did. She was soothsaying, and from it, she got money. So I, I don't really, I don't like the whole deal. Hey, give me a $100 line, a $200 line, a $1,000 line. I don't like that because that can't be the spirit of God. I don't see that in the Bible. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe that you ought to, to bring, uh, uh, you know, we see where when people came to the prophets in the Old Testament, they always brought something. They brought a gift. But no, we don't make merchandise of the people of God. 